Now, a very common situation is to have an input field specifically for passwords. And in that situation, you can put an icon on the right side here to toggle the visibility of the password field. So to start that, let's first duplicate one of our input fields. Let's go to the top and duplicate the state. And for this, you can change the name of the state to password. And then the function will be set password. Now back to the input field, let's change the label to password. And for the icon, we can change this to the lock open icon. And for the value, it will be the password. And for the unchanged text, we'll change it to set password. For the placeholder, we can change it to some asterisks. Now to be able to tell whether to render a password field or a regular text input, we want to pass an additional property. So for all the password fields, we'll pass an is password property. And for this, we'll set the value to true. Now we can see that TypeScript is not happy with our new property but we'll work on that to fix it. So from here, let's go to the types of the style text input. And then over here, just below the icon, we want to add the S password property. And for this, it will either be a true or false. So that's a boolean. With that done, once you go to the app file, the error should be no more. But we see that now, the other text inputs are having problems because they're expecting the S password field. So in the types file, we need to make this an optional property. Once we do that and go back to the app file, everyone should be happy. Now let's go back to the style text input. Now over here, for the icon that we want to display on the right side, we we'll need a component for that. So let's go to the top and copy our left icon. For this, I'll change the name from left icon to right icon. But in this situation, the icon that we'll put here will be the eye icon and we want it to be pressable. So we change the view here to touchable opacity. For the position, it will remain the same, the top will remain the same, but for the left property, we'll change it to right. We can keep the Z in this here, but we don't need the border and the pattern, so we can get rid of all of them. And now we can copy the name of the property, and then go below the input field and paste it. Now for the icon in this, we'll copy the material community icons here, and then we can paste it here. Now for this icon, first, we want to change the color to black. Next, for the name of the icon, we will not be accepting it as a property, but instead, We'll be toggling between two names for the icon, an eye off and just the eye. So to be able to do that, we will need a state here. Now this state here also affects whether to show the password as a plain text or as a hidden text. So we'll call this state hide password. And for this, we'll give it an initial value of true. So by default, we want to hide our password. With that done, we we'll go back to our material community icon. So inside the name here, we'll first check for the hide password property. So if hide password is true, that is our password is supposed to be hidden, we want to return the eye of icon. Otherwise, we want to return just the eye icon. Now to be able to toggle the value of the hide password, we'll pass an unpressed property to the right icon. This will be a function and in the body of the function, we'll call the set hide password. And for the argument, we'll pass the hide password value. But in this case, we'll negate it so that the value will be toggled. And that will work as our unpressed function. Now as you may have noticed, the icon is displayed for all our input fields including the ones that are text input fields so to fix that we need to wrap this in a condition so the condition will be to check whether its password property has been passed we we'll just return the right icon now the is password property is not here so we discharge it from the props and now this should fix our issue so as you can see now it is only displayed for the password field now when we enter something into the password field it is not hidden and also pressing on this toggles the icon but for the value nothing happens to it. This is because we need to use an extra property and this property is known as a secure test entry. Now for the value of this, we want to base it on the is password property. So if its password is true, we want to return the value of hide password. So in this situation, if the input field is not a password field at all, we just return false and not bother about the hide password. With this in place, when we click on the eye icon here, the value should be toggled from hidden to plain text. Now this basically sums up our work for the style text input. So we can move on to the next one.